song uh, for, uh, for the hurting. And so let me just read these words. Uh, uh, it says from the choir director on Ruth Lavin, a psalm of David. You read some of those things and you go, what in the world is he talking about? The NIV version has, I think, the son of, uh, uh, death of a son. Now, we don't really know what that is, but most guess that's either a musical tune, uh, in some way, shape, or form that this was set to. But let me read what David says. He says, I will give thanks to the Lord with all my heart. I will tell of all thy wonders. I will be glad and exalt in thee. I will sing praise to thy name, O Most High. When my enemies turn back, they stumble and perish before thee. Thou hast maintained my just cause. Thou dost sit on the throne judging righteously. Thou hast rebuked the nations. Thou hast destroyed the wicked. Thou hast blotted out their name forever and ever. The enemy has come to an end in perpetual ruins, and thou hast uprooted the cities. The very memory of them has perished. But the Lord abides forever. He has established his throne for judgment, and he will judge the world in righteousness. He will execute judgment for the peoples with equity. The Lord also will be a stronghold for the oppressed, a stronghold in times of trouble. And those who know thy name will put their trust in thee. For thou, O Lord, hast not forsaken those who seek thee. Sing praises to the Lord who dwells in Zion. Declare among the peoples his deeds, for he who requires blood remembers them. He does not forget the cry of the afflicted. Be gracious to me, O Lord. Behold my affliction from those who hate me. Thou who dost lift me up from the gates of death. That I may tell of all thy praises, that in the gates of the daughter of Zion I may rejoice in thy salvation. The nations have sunk down in the pit which they have made, in the net which they hid. Their own foot has been caught. The Lord has made himself known. He has executed judgment. In the work of his own hands, the wicked is snared. The wicked will return to Sheol, even all the nations who forget God. For the needy will not always be forgotten, nor the hope of the afflicted perish forever. Arise, O Lord, do not let man prevail. Let the nations be judged before thee. Put them in fear, O Lord. Let the nations know that they are um, but men. And may God add a blessing to, uh, to this His word here today. Times of trouble. And that is David needed a stronghold from the difficulties and challenges that he was facing in life. You know what a stronghold was? David was very familiar with strongholds. A stronghold was either a man-made fortress or cut out and made naturally a cave, a cliff, a rock, and so forth. And it was normally built very high. And it was for the reason of protection. They would go to these strongholds so that no beast, the reason it was so high is because no beast and no human could get to them. They were there for that protection and they would run to that stronghold when they needed respite and relief from the difficulties in the days uh, of the days of their lives. How many of you need a stronghold? You know, we all deal with challenges in life, don't we? I mean, there are unexpected things that come up challenges that face us. There are things that we see and there are things, there are expectations we have of people and they don't, and they don't meet those expectations. You know, we deal with the challenge of a job loss and we're not sure where the money is going to come from and we have challenges in our relationships and we have all kinds of challenges. We need a stronghold and that stronghold is God Almighty. 